So, were all those prawn cocktails consumed in vain? Labour's announcement that it will reintroduce a 50p top rate of income tax has been greeted with fury by business leaders. Ed Miliband has been trying to brush off the frosty reception, insisting it was utterly fair for high earners to bear the greatest burden. And if the opinion poll's right, he's got the public on his side. Even David Cameron has acknowledged that Labour's new policy is popular, although he branded it bad for the economy. Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, reports. Busy. Uh, yes, we're, we're busy. And, um, David Cameron visiting small businesses in West London claimed he was freeing up smaller employers from regulations. Later, at a small business gathering in Westminster, he took a swipe at Labour's announcement that it would, if elected, restore the 50p tax rate for those on more than £150,000 a year. You've now got former Labour minister after former Labour minister alongside a huge number of people in business to say that putting up the top rate of tax will cost jobs, cost investment. It is an anti-business, anti-enterprise, anti-growth measure. A weekend poll suggested 60% of voters backed a new top rate of tax. David Cameron acknowledged Labour's policy was more popular than his. Uh, I would argue just as what I think uh, George Osborne and I did was right for the economy, but politically difficult. Labour are now doing something that's politically convenient, but is very, very bad for our economy. Also mingling with the small business bosses, Labour's business spokesman, Chuka Umuna, denied Labour was happy to run for power without big business endorsements. You can get by without them. I wouldn't say that. I mean, look, we're seeking to build a coalition of interest and a coalition of support. And I just don't buy this view that all of business is against us because we put the top rate of tax from 45 to 50p temporarily. But it's all a far cry from Tony Blair's wooing of the boardrooms and dealing rooms of Britain. One who worked closely with Mr Blair says the voice of big business isn't what it was back then. Look, I think there's a pendulum in reputation. I think that there was a time when the Labour Party had to be clear uh, of its support to business, almost to a point of being pathologically supportive of it. Um, but that the, the Great Recession and the global financial crisis really made a lot of people sceptical about business, how competent business is, and the fact that business had to be bailed out by, uh, by the government uh, is still there in the background. So I think that the, the, the terms of trade have changed. Young entrepreneurs sharing office space in Hoxton, London's tech city. We asked what they made of Labour bringing back the 50p tax rate. They've got a lot of voters they need to appease by being anti-big business. I think there's a real sort of fat cat culture they're trying to attack, I think. But, you know, as a small business, we rely on big business for our, a lot of our, you know, contracts. So it doesn't win you over? You no, know, not at all. Your image of Labour, pro-business, pro-small business, hostile? Well, I think it's a, it's a growth business. They're probably more hostile. I think as we're not small business, we don't plan to be small business, we plan to grow, we plan to go big. And we're reliant on big business for our funding, so that's probably seen them more as hostile towards the big business. All the party leaders know the standing of banks, utilities and other companies has been hit badly since the crash. But even if voters dislike or distrust big bosses, they may fear what big business might do if Labour is elected.